The search is continuing for a cave diver who went missing in an underground cave in County Galway yesterday. The man is from Poland and in his 30s failed to resurface after he went diving in caves near Kiltartan, north, north of Gort. The Irish Cave Rescue Organisation say that the diver followed correct protocol at all times during his exploration of the Polonora Cave. One of the most terrifying cave explorer stories took place in my own country of Ireland, in Galway, about a Polish explorer determined to map areas of undiscovered caves, even if it meant possible death. Polonor Cave is located in Kiltarden in Galway, which locals avoid because of the potential sinkholes. There's also kind of like a mystic kind of element to it, which keeps the locals out as well. The caves are the remains of an underground water system with many collapses and caves with water filled section. The cave has been explored revealing parts of its underground system over the years. Arthur Kozlowski, an experienced diver, was very interested in becoming the first to map out these caves completely, but it comes with risks, such as your dive line could break if you panic because the gases that build up down there, you could die, or if you simply take a wrong turn and get stuck, you're effectively dead. Visibility is always an issue as well, where you can become disorientated very easily from the sediment buildup in the cave. Arthur came to Ireland from Poznan in Poland in 2006 and worked as a quantity surveyor. His projects included in the Aviva Stadium and Euston Square developments in Dublin. He would later play an important role in compiling maps for Galway County Council and the National Roads Authority for the design and development of the N18 which is now known as the M18 motorway. When he moved to Ireland he was a qualified diver with 13 open water dives under his belt. In 2007 he became interested in cave diving and trained with Welsh cave diving instructor Martin Farr. Arthur was responsible for many extensions to cave systems in both Ireland and Spain, the most notable being the extension to the Maple Arch cave system in County Fermanagh. In 2008 he set the record for the deepest cave dive in Great Britain and in Ireland of a depth of 103 meters or 338 feet. In Politmary near Kilavelli in County Mayo to name just a couple of his achievements. He also spent time making maps for parts of cave systems wanting to find the missing links. In 2011 he travelled to Galway and asked the locals for any information they could give him about the Polonora cave. They warned him of the dangers of the cave but he began to explore the cave frequently because he had never seen a cave like this one before and was fascinated by it. A year before his demise he said in an interview self-sufficiency was imperative for cave diving as no rescue could be expected, only recovery if you're lucky. So he's more than aware of the dangers that came with cave exploration. The more he explored the map the more he realised that the cave was very deep and he pushed past the limits of what was known. He would go on to go 800 meters into the cave and it was believed that the cave was 42 meters in depth where it was filled with water. Galway County Council would go on to hire him to determine whether the cave was accessible to support a road on top. The locals actually grew quite fond of Arthur and he would stay at locals homes and he'd stay at the farm where the cave was located where he continued to explore the cave. Tom Nolan, who was 86 at the time of Croker House in Kilnardin, Galway, had known Arthur since he first explored the cave at the rear of their family home back in 2007. So Arthur basically wanted to see if he could connect the caves in the burn. He made good progress mapping and planning out the cave with three left to go. His goal was to map a connection between the Polutophil and Pudeline cave systems. If so, it would be the biggest underground cave system in Europe. After multiple risky dives with some close calls, he would eventually find the connection between Poteville and Poul de Lien. Although happy to make the connection, he was sad that it was over. With that achievement under his belt, he had only one thing left that he needed to do, and that was to map Polonora number 10. So the weekend before his dive into the cave, he spent a lot of time prepping over the weekend and on the Monday left oxygen bottles for decompression or in case of emergency at the surface of the cave. He arranged with his friends to raise the alarm if he did not resurface by 9pm that night. With 6 hours worth of oxygen, he made his way into the cave. But by 5pm, Arthur had not returned, so his friends called for a professional rescue. They hoped if they acted quickly they could possibly save him and the news spread quickly amongst the town and the media began to pick up the news. It was understood by everyone pretty quickly though unfortunately that the, by the following afternoon that it would most likely be a body retrieval and not a rescue because surviving those conditions was effectively impossible. Search and rescue teams came from Ireland, England and Wales. 
The first search was with Jim Marty, who was a close friend and member of the Irish Cave Rescue Organization. Spent hours that Monday night looking for air pockets, hoping Arthur was stuck at one. It was dangerous work, but Jim was willing to risk everything to find his close friend. Rick Stanton and John Bellington, assisted and are considered the best in Europe at cave diving, arrived on Wednesday. Day with Jim continued to search. The body of a cave diver who went missing in an underwater cave in County Galway has been found. Arthur Kozłowski, a Polish man in his 30s, failed to resurface after diving in caves near Kiltartan, north of Gort. Unfortunately, but at 6pm that night, Jim found his deceased friend in an underwater passage. Arthur couldn't find an oxygen pocket and enough oxygen to survive. The location where he was found is almost a kilometre from the access point of the cave and was 52 metres deep. Jim brought his body to the surface and a doctor confirmed that he had passed. His post-mortem revealed, unsurprisingly, that he had drowned. A film was made in honour of poor Arthur by the name of Riders of the Storm. A lot of the footage being used in it was from Arthur's footage while diving. I never heard a story like this myself, considering I'm from Dublin, but knowing how Irish people are, I'm sure the locals who were very fond of him as he became a member of that community, as he helped the people he worked with, his loss was was huge for them and he seemed from what I could tell have quite the positive impact on the community and he also seemed to be someone that was very well respected in the cave diving community and I think the fact he knew the cave was dangerous he knew that there was a chance he could get stuck and he was nervous about it which is why he got his friends to call for help if he wasn't back by a certain time but unfortunately having loads of experience and prepping as much as you can solo cave diving is obviously going to be a lot riskier there's no one there that can help you there's no one there that can get you help as quickly as efficiently as possible and because that cave system is quite complicated and quite unexplored you know the rescuers even with all their experience took them time to find them and there was just no way the, he would have enough oxygen and the other thing to mention as well is like i wasn't even aware that we had caves like this in ireland i mean it makes sense that we do but i wouldn't have thought that any sort of sort of these kind of stories and all the stories i've done on this would actually happen in my own country but it just goes to show like with my other videos that these divers know that they're putting their lives at risk and they take that risk and no matter how much experience you have things can go wrong you know you could argue that these are unavoidable deaths you could argue that they don't have to go into the caves but you know obviously Arthur had a passion for this and he was willing to risk it and you know if you're willing to risk it you're willing to risk it but unfortunately consequences are there and, and in Arthur's case he would meet his demise in such a cave but that's it guys thanks so much for watching please like share and subscribe as always if you enjoyed the video I'll probably move on to something maybe a little less depressing next week who knows but let me know in the comments down below if there's any cave stories you'd like me to cover or if there's any sort of information about any of the stories I covered that you want to add that I might have missed in my research and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.